Uh, uh, I'm Gabriel, and uh, I am a Boy Scout from out in Newbury Park area. I was working on my Eagle Scout project, and I decided to, I was looking at what, uh, some of the things that you guys were offering, and I noticed one about assembling kiosks, uh, two in Topanga State Park, uh, one in Will Rogers, and then kind of refurbishing another one in Topanga State Park. And so what my dad's uh, passing around right now is uh, these little pamphlets. There's three different things in them, but they all, they all are ways of going to the same thing. Uh, there's a QR code and there's two different links. I have a little website that kind of explains my project in way more detail and goes through a bunch of videos I took each day. But so pretty much what I did is I coordinated with you guys and with the state parks and ended up uh, getting three kiosks, like I said, assembled in those three different places. And um, so we ended up doing it over a course of about five days and then I had to go back on two other days just to do some little maintenance stuff. And it uh, worked out pretty well and they're still up there today and I hope they're there for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, really, it was really cool. And one of the cool things I did also was I kind of asked some people along the way, you know, what would you like to have added in this kiosk or what, what would be helpful to you? And a lot of people, you know, needed, said they needed like maps and stuff. So actually, it was kind of surprising me. A lot of people who went out there didn't really use maps that much or anything. They just kind of went out there and just kind of wandered around. And so uh, they said they would be helpful to have maps in the kiosk. And then there were some other super tired and sweaty people who really wanted, you know, stuff about weather and like what the temperature was going to be like because uh, then they could be more prepared for that uh, along the way. And then, um, there was, it was mostly younger people that I noticed in the trail, and after every day I was out there, I counted how many people I saw on each site, and then kind of extrapolated from that per week to per week. So we get about uh, 1,324 people uh, per week at the Mush Camp kiosk, uh, 1,503 people at the Mush Meadow kiosk, and uh, 1,929 people at the Will Rogers Inspiration Loop Trail. So that's a pretty big number. And uh, I'm pretty happy that th now that I got those kiosks in there, uh, and once I start putting, once we start getting maps and other notices in there, uh, hopefully it can help people, uh, you know, better navigate the parks, uh, maybe encourage others to go out there. And because uh, I really like these state parks, I think it's really cool. Because more and more in recent years, we're, you know, tending to kind of ignore the natural world and just kind of plow it down and put a house on it or something. So it's really cool that we have these preserved areas where we can still go walk around in nature and just kind of enjoy it. And so I think that's really cool and that's why I chose to help you guys. Uh, so thank you for this opportunity. And uh, thank you to the State Parks, it was a lot of fun. I had a total of around 24 people uh, volunteering uh, to just help me out. And that's just the people who were doing work with me and stuff. There was a whole other spectrum of about 20 other people who were helping me organize things behind the scenes and getting approvals and other things arranged beforehand and uh, helped me get the word out. And I also uh, sold some shirts to raise money for them, which also kind of raised awareness for uh, for some of the state parks. Right, model this, we're supposed to model this? If you want. Uh, so yeah. I can't read it from here. It says, it's a quote from Will Rogers, because that was one of the parks, and it says, A vision without a plan is just a hallucination. Oh, and so then on the front, I said I kept Gabriel from hallucinating, because people help support me with this uh, in my campaign. Oh, that's nice. that's nice. So uh, with that, uh, I was able to raise uh, close to $1,000, and I ended up using a lot, uh, more than I'd even expected, on uh, different materials and things that I needed. And I even uh, made an excess of a couple hundred dollars that I'm expecting to donate to you guys in the coming few weeks. And uh, it was, yeah, so it was a lot of fun doing it. I had a lot of fun organizing it. And it was a cool experience to kind of finally give back to the parks that I've always loved. So um, I think that's it. Uh, there were total, oh yeah, and one more thing is it took a total of 420 hours of work and planning. And that's combined with all the people who helped me out and all the people who I planned with and all of my planning and everything. And it was uh, clearly something that I won't, won't regret doing. And uh, thank you for this opportunity again. Thank so, you. yeah. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions they want to ask? I do. How do you know how many people were visiting each kiosk? So, as I, uh, every day went by,
by and we were doing work, here I'll stand up so it's more efficient. Um, <laughs> as we went by every single day, uh, I had my dad count uh, how many people he noticed walked by, and not only just people, but also you know differentiate between people and rangers, and, and horses and dogs, and all those things. And so we only, there were only a few dogs, and there was like one horse, uh, <laughs> and there were like, I think four or five rangers, or somewhere around, somewhere around that or less in total. But there was a surprisingly large amount of, I was actually surprised by how many people would pass by in just a small interval of like half an hour. And it, it was really cool uh, getting to talk to them and kind of see where they came from and why they were out here. And uh, they were all super happy that we were putting these in because I think uh, they were like, we've, I think some of them said like, you know, we were waiting for this. Or some people said, you know, no, uh, it'll, I'll be coming out of here and stuff. And so uh, I think, yeah, so that was, I, that was mainly how I counted people, because I did that. And I also, uh, the reason I got all these statistics was I did like anonymous surveys, like I handed them a piece of paper that basically said like, you know, how old are you? What do you want to see in this kiosk? Just some simple questions, not like anything weird. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of helped me round up how many people there were. And uh, the results were pretty cool. Uh, you know, over a thousand, over, 1,300 people in uh, the different parks each day. So that was about what I got. When you said uh, a lot of people were younger, what were their ages, roughly? Uh, they were all, they were the all, range. yeah, they are all in like their young 30s for the most part, average. Uh, that was what I got. Uh, particularly 34 year old. Uh, the so, a average was 34. Yeah, the average was 34. 34. Um, <laughs> so it was a lot of younger people. I think there were a few, I think there might have been one or two outliers that were older, but it was definitely, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, how, how would you classify us? <laughs> obviously, no more. Obviously, no more. Obviously, obviously young 30s. We had a big, we had a big job. Oh, yeah, that's right, <laughs> trying, trying. But yeah, it was cool because uh, from what I've always seen, I never really like, knew, like, because I always assumed that the people who were, like, younger at this point, in, at this day and age, were kind of more interested in, like, <coughs> doing other things, but it was pretty cool to me that we saw a lot of people interested in uh, the outdoors. What, uh, when, what lunch did you do it? Uh, I actually executed the project on the first, uh, on the first week of August, so it was kind of in the, yeah, so it was, kind of the middle of the summertime, but and it was nice and warm, but yeah. <laughs> Anyone else have any thoughts? So I have a you. question for you. Oh, if I were to go to this website, could I actually get more of your speech out of here? Uh, data? Oh yeah. I think, I think, excuse me, coughing through the whole thing. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you can, I have like a, the thing on the top left corner is like yes. the, the regular link. Okay. But then if you want, you know, I don't, that's just because, you know, that's the main link. But then I also have like a bit.ly, which is just, just a shortened version of the link. That's much easier to type out on the right side. Okay. And then with the QR code thing is, you, there's like free apps on all the app stores that you can just download like a quick QR okay. ca uh, code reader. Right. And you just scan it, you just cover it over. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that because I really would like to put it in the minutes. Yeah, I have, uh, I have a tab uh, about like just kind of the, what, like summary of what my project is, and then there's a tab about everything before, where I went to all the sites before and took videos of like this is where it's going to be, and then on the next page, I have it all listed out, uh, what we did each day, and uh, kind of summary of what happened each day, and then yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you. Yeah. It's very impressive. Did the uh, the other people who work with you were they uh, motivated to do something also? Oh yeah, I think a lot of the people besides. Uh, Mr. Minchin and Mr. Diddick, who were awesome because they came out every single day. <laughs> the many hours of me making them sit up there and do work and <laughs> figure out how to do things while they were sweating. Uh, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, a lot of the people who I, pretty much all the people who I got volunteers for were all from like my Boy Scout troop. Right. right. And so, uh, yeah, I think a lot of them were motivated because we go, we, my troop does a lot of backpacking, and we do. We even do like annual service projects with uh, you guys out mm -hmm. in um, La Jolla Valley. Yes, yeah, La Jolla Valley, and uh, 
So yeah, I think that was kind of this is kind of another chance for us to give back to you guys for all the awesome trails we have out here to hike. Well, on, behalf, on behalf of everybody, I want to thank you very, very much for your efforts and for your work. Thank you. You did a good job here.